Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, I Brush. and today we're going to be watching Back to the Future Part 3. So we are finishing our trilogy, part of our 80s movie run. I guess this is technically 1990, but we're continuing our 80s movie run. We watched the second movie, first movie. You're a big fan of both? Yeah. Okay. I think the second movie is a little bit different than the first movie. I think the first movie kind of has a place on top just because it's the most original and iconic mm -hmm. and everything like that. But I'm curious to see what you think about this movie. You got a little bit of a hint as to what's going to be going on at the end of the last movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I tried to stop it, but we still saw a little bit of it. So I don't know. I don't really want to say anything. I want to just get straight into this movie. As I was, though, full length reactions up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction, whichever 80s movie you guys vote for this movie here. That is also going to be up on our Patreon. And yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. And let's just get into Back to the Future Part 3. Okay, where did we end, though? We're, we were just we right rounded the... out the story. It was like a... Because now we had this weird time loop. Well, because Marty, to save the present, also went back in the past again, right? So Yeah, and so didn't he come back again? Yeah, and then remember Doc died, but then he got like a letter? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. I love that it all centers around this point in time. Yeah, well, it was go. like one of the coolest parts. <laughs> Acting is so good. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. Oh, I know you're back. But I'm back. I'm back from the future. Oh, he's like, snap. what? <laughs> okay, so what? That's cool. How this one starts like the second one started, but with Marty. Marty, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. how are we gonna get out of this? Because I feel like the second movie especially felt like we messed up, kind of. Well, yeah. I mean, we were saying, like, like we're not gonna use time travel anymore. But I feel like we gotta start fixing up the timeline a bit. I love the music. The music in all these movies is so good. Where it, I don't know, it's just so on point. Have we seen Doc's place burn down yet? No. Okay. <laughs> this is really well done. <laughs> On the hoverboard. Oh. That's cool. Perhaps the gigawatt discharge coupled with a temporal displacement field generated by the time vehicle caused a disruption of my own brain waves resulting in a condition of momentary amnesia. That's what it was. Doc? <laughs> Undoubtedly, this was some sort of exotic Doc. image. Doc! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Doc, calm down. It's me. It's Marty. Lord! <laughs> the piano? You can't be here. It doesn't make sense for you to be here. I don't It's just too much, dude. <laughs> Doc, you're the one that freaking we're talking about time travel the entire time. So once I got a book back, you, that is the you from 1985. We're in the DeLorean and it got struck by lightning and you got sent back to 1885. Oh, snap. Yeah, this is just, everything's really confusing. If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent, me sent a letter. Dear Marty, my calculations are correct. <laughs> you will receive this letter immediately. <laughs> With the magnified glass. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. How did he send? The overload shorted out the time circuits and destroyed the flying circuits. He's like, it flies? The suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. Oh my However, gosh. However, I've gotten quite adept at shoeing horses and fixing wagons. <laughs> I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine. So then it should be here. Yeah, but how does two docks exist? That's my question. Do not attempt to come back here to get me. I fear that unnecessary time travel only risks further disruption of the space-time continuum. Yeah, so I he is aware. Take care of Einstein for me. I feel like we're going back. Einstein, it's what you call your dog in 1985. Oh, does he even... You've been a good, kind, and loyal Okay, so, but is this Einstein? No, it's a different Dog, yeah, because it's a... He probably has the same type of dog. September 1st, 1885. I, I never knew Marty's... I could ride anything no, so touch. No, Doc, it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, man, you, when you went back in You're time, great, you know? Dude. It's all right, Copernicus. Copernicus, <laughs> okay. I could have ended up in the Dark Ages. They probably would have burned me at a stake as a heretic or something. We may have to blast. Oh, dang. I, they may burn you now. You're like the crazy doctor. You're blowing up cemeteries Shoot, and bro. doing lightning experiments in the middle of town. Take this camera. I'm going to document everything. Oh, oh yeah, Copernicus. I attempted to reach the center of the earth. <laughs> Journey to the center of the earth. I have read it. It was when I was 11 that I first read 20,000 leagues out of the sea. And then I realized that I must devote my life to science. Yeah, I can tell you were inspired by that book a little bit. Not going to lie. Look at this. ELB? My initials! Just like in Journey to the Center of the Earth! <laughs> <laughs> I 
like how Back to the Future movies find a way to get every genre in. It was like, you know, modern or futuristic last time. Yeah. Now it's like spelunking. It's been barely here for 70 years, two months and 13 days. Wouldn't it corrode? I mean, it's not like exposed to the outside. So That's it true. be that bad. No wonder this circuit fails. It says made in Japan. Okay. Um, we All the best stuff. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're getting that wrong. <laughs> the stuff in the future. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a cowboy. It sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement years. You would think that. You're the one that's always saying, you know, it's not good to know too much about your own destiny. You're right, Marty. I know too much already. Oh, that's true because it is. It's not like he's replaced. This is like a time loop. This doc will eventually be the doc in 1885. Yeah. Yeah. Because technically, the doc in 1885 is his future in the past. Marcus, come on, let's go home, boy. Where's Copernicus? What's wrong? What's wrong, Copernicus? Come on. Ooh. Yeah. See, the problem is, dude. Stop! Well, because he isn't the same doc in a way, right? Yeah, he hasn't been through enough. Crazy how it su survived for that long. Oh, great Scott. Died September 7th, 7th 1885. So he That's died, one week after yeah, like six days yeah. later. Who the hell is Clara? Daddy, <laughs> please don't stand there. Oh, right. Sorry. Jeez. Shot in the back. But Buford Tannen. Buford Tannen was a notorious gunman. Wait, Buford Tannen? Why do I recognize that? William McFly and family. Your relatives? Whoa. Great Whoa. His name was William. Oh, also, apparently in the last movie, Marty was playing his sister, as, uh, his sister in the future as well. You know how there was like his family and there was like the daughter and stuff like that? He played, the actor played his daughter as well. Really? <laughs> as well as the son. Yeah. I didn't even recognize him. I know, it's crazy. Great Scott, it's me. And it is true. All of it. The clock tower. After you fix the time circuits and put new tires on the DeLorean, I'm going back. We're to going back. I'm bringing you home. Yeah. So we're going back to go back to go back. Maybe you can I mean, at this more. point, I don't think we're going back <laughs> anymore. We're just. <laughs> oh, what's that? I've never seen a Western. Gotta look the part. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is. We're looking a little. Like this. <laughs> who? That's right. You haven't heard of him yet. <laughs> When was uh? I don't even know exactly when when what when Clint Eastwood's first movie was. Hmm. It definitely wasn't the fifties. I mean, he's still alive now, so. The future calls apart. What about that floating device? Hoverboard. Right. Oh, he's bringing stuff from all Whoa. the times of all the futures. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. That's true. And there's a small cave over there, which would be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. That's smart, at least. Good thing we have the future DeLorean. Yeah. Because now we can just load it up. I get shot on Monday the 7th, so you have five days to locate me. <laughs> Here we go, dude. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm gonna crash into those Indians. Marty, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. Oh, fourth dimensionally, yeah. They'll instantly be transported to 1885, and those Indians won't even be there. See you in the future. I mean the past. Exactly. Sure, I'm confused as to what's what anymore, to be honest. It's too much. <laughs> Let's go. Go. This will never get old. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, Whoa the animation. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you lied, Doc. Bro, it must be kind of crazy though. You have like this. <laughs> yeah, why are they not freaking out more? Like, look at what you got. It's like a spaceship. Yeah. This is so well shot. Yeah. This looks like those westerns do with the huge buttes and everything. Oh, dude. There's oh, your cave. The cave. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, I don't think they're they're really going for you at all. They're just like <laughs> they were kind of like uh, their... what? Oh, there's a chip in front of me. Like okay. Oh. Oh no. Get the cavalry. <laughs> oh yeah, they were being. So they chased. really weren't. They really weren't. No, yeah, that's why they weren't going after him. I feel like Marty's outfit really doesn't fit. Yeah, we're looking a little the freaking uh <laughs> the freaking designs on yeah, the yeah, yeah. it's like science. This is a good shot. Oh no. Oh shoot. Dude. <laughs> Bear? <laughs> you better book, dude! <laughs> Oh shit, I don't know if you can run from a bear. Watch out. <laughs> he got like, tricked by the, the boots. Are these? Whoa! Oh shoot, dude. shoot. 
dang. Oh, Stunt man doing work on that one. Maggie! That's the one who had a hard time here. It kind of looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Mom, here we go again. Now. You've been asleep for nearly six hours now. <laughs> You're Irish. You're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly farm? Yep. You're my farm. Like, <laughs> savior. Maggie McFly. McFly. Like your great, great. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc Eastwood. <laughs> uh, Clint. Oh my god. <laughs> Lucky for you, Seamus found you when he did. Seamus. <laughs> You'll be excusing me, Mr. Eastwood, while I tend to William. William. Dude, you got some cool ancestors. <laughs> this here is Mr. Clint Eastwood here. This is Clint Eastwood. Maggie, I've got supper. Oh, We're yeah. I want to pry into a man's personal affairs. Everybody is killing it with the accents. Yeah. I just got to say, they're on point. <laughs> I guess I just forgot my hat. How could you forget a thing like your hat? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're going to die of sunburn. What planet are you from? And tomorrow, I'll take you as far as the railroad tracks. Yeah, the food isn't as cool. Oh no! Seamus, a word with you. Hi. What'd you do, Seamus? What are you holding for a minute? Oh, that's weird. She's probably like, don't sure keep him here. After bringing a curse on this house, taking him in like yeah. that. Hey, buddy. Look how my Bobby takes to him. <laughs> that's what he never takes to strangers. <laughs> Cause he's not a stranger. So you're my great grandfather. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just, oof. <laughs> eh, he's still human. Oh gosh, those are gonna get. They're not very helpful, man. I put on the boots. Well, the boots are gone now. Ooh. Whoa. Looks like they built this whole set. It's incredible. Is that the, was that the, what was with the? The clock tower. Okay, don't be so suspicious, bro. You're like a complete <laughs> stranger. <laughs> I love how like hardcore it is. It's always the clock tower. Uh-oh. Some foreshadowing. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you imagine that? That's such a huge project for this town. <laughs> Keep low, man. That's what? Going on vacation to watch a hanging. Yeah! Bro, you stepped right oh, in dude. that pile. You're gonna need some better you shoes. You and your white shoes. I feel like those shoes aren't gonna be white uh -huh. anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. It's gonna be like the <laughs> typical... He's like, Look, his uh, feet were just breathed in the door. What is that man wearing? What'll it be, stranger? No Pepsi. Ice water? <laughs> Ice water. <laughs> Come on, Marty. Marty, what? In here, we pour whiskey. So then why did you even ask him? <laughs> it's okay. literally burning the table. Excuse me, I'm trying to find the blacksmith. Let me fly! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Thought I done told you never to come in. Oh, uh, that, is that? <laughs> What's your name, dude? Uh, Mark. Dude? I seen see look at straight board store ball. Hey, take a gander at them moccasins. What's that writing mean? Knee K. <laughs> Knee K. <laughs> Bartender, I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? No, sir, Mr. Tannen, I have not. Oh, okay, so that's why I recognize Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mad dog Tannen. Mad dog. I hate that name. What? It sounds cool. Nobody calls me Mad Dog, especially not some dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's food walking. Oh snap! What kind of witchcraft is this? Like holy crap, that's actually kind of cool. It's too early for that. Oh snap! Oh ew! That's how we fight. Take that, Mad In Dog. In the future. Bro, you don't even know the amount of bullets in your own gun, what? Oh, dang. I like how Biff gets crazier and crazier every movie, and I feel like the movie owns it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Careful, dude. Yeah, Marty is not equipped for this. Shoot. Oh no. Dang. That would mess you up so that bad. Would That's how they killed some people. Yeah. Jeez! Wow, the horse! Careful! Jeez, man! He's going all out! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at the scope! You owe me money, blacksmith. 
How do you figure? My horse threw a shoe. Seeing as you was the one that done the shoe, and I say that makes you responsible. He hasn't changed in how many years? I was on my horse when it threw the shoe, and I got thrown off. And that caused me to bust a perfectly good bottle of fine Kentucky red eye. <laughs> That's not his fault. If your horse threw a shoe, bring him back, and I'll reshoe him. I don't shot that horse. Well, that's your problem, Tannen. Wrong. That's yours. Yeah, he shot the horse, but it's his problem. Well, I mean, if he did mess up the shoe, that... I guess <laughs> that is kind of his fault, but... If he actually messed it up. Yeah, that's Horses true. lose shoes all the time. That's true, but if it, if he just reshoot it. Marty, you're going to have to do something about those clothes. If you walk around <laughs> town dressed like that, you'll have to get shot. Bang! What idiot dressed <laughs> you in that outfit? You? Yeah. <laughs> but it was a younger you. Shot in the back over a matter of $80. Now I wish I'd paid him off. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. What? <laughs> You have like five days left, bro. My involvement in such a social relationship here in 1885 could result in a disruption of the space-time continuum. Yeah, that's true. I can never take that risk. Um, it said it, bro. Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher? We just got word she's coming in tomorrow. Her name's Clara. Mm -hmm. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara yep. Clayton. <laughs> Oh no. But now that you know about it, like, isn't that... Well, Doc, now we know who Claire is. Yeah, but we know that yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, weird because... <laughs> it's not scientific. It's not scientific rationale. You meet the right girl and just hit you. It's like lightning. Marty, please don't say that. <laughs> Too soon, Marty. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. She's been on the porch the whole trilogy. Turn that valve over there. What is this? Giant contraption. Is it the new time thing? <laughs> ice tea. All of that oh, to okay. make one thing of ice. Listen, Doc, it tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're gonna have to patch it up and get some gas. Wait, but we don't have what do you gas. Mean, gas. Well, we got Mr. Fusion, right? Mr. Fusion powers the time circuits and the flux capacitor. Not the fuels. There's not gonna be a gas station around here until sometime in the next century. Yes, dude. Oh, Lord. We can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. So what do we do? <laughs> we get some Oh, more yeah, power. baby. I don't know, but is that gonna work? Uh can they get it up to 80? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. And pulling something? Like <laughs> That's so sick, though. The fact that we got to see that ever. Oh, yeah. It's an old Western DeLorean. They just need to wagon it up a little bit. <laughs> fit perfectly. The only way is if they go off a cliff. That's the only way, I feel. Wait, the alcohol's making it run. But... Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't because gas and alcohol, like, that's not, <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Strong stuff, all right. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. Whoa. A month? Wait, but then we gotta Doc, live. you're gonna get shot on Monday. Yeah. Oh, I know. I got it. We can simply roll it down a steep hill. Oh, yeah. we never find a smooth enough surface. Mm. Unless ice. Ice? When the lake freezes over. Winter, Doc, what are you talking about? Yeah, come on, Doc. Let's think this thing through. <laughs> Doc's hair is another character <laughs> in this movie. If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. Huh? <laughs> Steam engine? Or no, not even. Well, I've had her up to 55 myself. Yeah, even mm. then, right? 88 yeah. miles an hour for back na back then is, is crazy. Tell me when's the next train come through here. Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Of course. According to this map, there is no bridge. Well, yeah. Uh, Scratch that idea. It's just losses. You're just not thinking fourth dimensionally. Yeah, but if he goes Don't off... Don't you see? The bridge will exist. Yeah, if he goes off, he should be able to do it. As long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine. That's a huge if, though. Oh my gosh, runaway horses, what's going on? I wonder who this could be. <laughs> I love the, 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 everything about this feels like a yeah. Western, though. They really lean into the style. And it's well filmed. And that horse is booking. Yay. Um. Oh. Whew. Oh, wow. Jeez. Well, that sucks. Hey, all that paperwork. Thank you, sir. You saved my life. Oh, snap. <laughs> Clara, what a beautiful name. <laughs> Duh! 
dog. <laughs> I wonder why uh, the ravine was called Clayton Ravine before. No wonder. Hmm. That's really no trouble. Doc, she says it's fine. <laughs> He's so awestruck. You'll see lots of me, I'm sure. I have a shop in town. I'm a local scientist. Uh, 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 black scientist. <laughs> Science? Of course she's interested in science, though. She's probably the only person back then who knows what science is. Well, I mean, there's a decent amount of people. No, but I mean, out, like, that's true. in the West, that it that's really not the focus, it, right? Yeah. yeah. You can be seeing lots of them. Well, Doc I mean, looks like someone, you know, you would learn about in the history books. Oh, 100 with the hair, dude, especially. <laughs> Look at the founding fathers. They always got the weird craziness going on. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there 100 years ago. 100 years ago? <laughs> Every kid in school knows that story because we all have teachers we'd like to see fall into the ravine. <laughs> but she was supposed to go over in that wagon. No, I may have seriously altered history. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't... Wait, I'm not sure. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. It's caused nothing but disaster. But really entertaining and fun to movies of disaster. True. You can't tell me you guys aren't also having fun. Throw the switch track and then we'll hijack, borrow the locomotive and use it. <laughs> For science purposes. Oh, day. Pushing the DeLorean. This is a really cool model. Yeah. It couldn't be simpler. Sure. Yeah, but really there's a lot of complications. Like, is the train going to be able to be traveling at that speed and, like, run into the DeLorean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like... <laughs> it's Clara this time. Why, hello. This is quite a surprise. It's the opposite. Like. Yeah. My telescope was damaged. I thought you might be able to repair Ooh. it for me. I, I would pay you, of oh, course. That, no, no, no. That'd be kind of tough, That's, though. That is kind of up his alley, though. I mean, does he have the tools and stuff? If you move it this way, the image turns fuzzy. But if, if you turn it the other way... <laughs> Sorry, show me again? Clear. Clear. Yeah. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> <laughs> that weird voice, like... Tonight's the town festival. You are planning on attending, aren't you? Oh, well, actually, man, yes, I don't think... Of course, course, the festival. Well, in that case... <laughs> Marty's, Marty's like, Doc, what the heck, like, dude? Bro, you were literally just saying. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. Doc's just love struck face. It gives me great pleasure to dedicate this clock to the people of Hill County. Oh. May it stand for all time. And never be struck by lightning. No, we need that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I don't think it ever went down. Right? Even in the future future. Yeah, yeah. Too bad I didn't bring my camera. <laughs> Oh, the only problem is we'll never be able to show it to anybody. What if they end up in like a book or something? You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Oh, great. Okay. Oh, dang, that's cool. Okay, Doc, where are you? <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Doc. <laughs> but see, the problem is that it genuinely whole, may disrupt the timeline. Well, not only that, but like our whole goal is was kind of to bring Doc back. Yeah, and this is but kind of means, messing things up. Yeah, it's like, then you gotta leave in a few days. It's like, yeah. what? Then again, Doc has... In the future that we came from, Doc had been with Clara. And it didn't necessarily... It wasn't necessarily the thing that messed everything up, kind of. Yeah, right? so I don't... It's it's hard to tell what will affect what, exactly. Money boy! The Doc and dance. Oh, yeah, the Doc and dance. Son. Okay, calm down. Even a baby can handle this weapon. Surely you're not afraid to try. You can't handle it clearly because you're pointing at him. You don't have any firearm safety. Oh, no. Oh, nice. What the heck? It's like the game. <laughs> oh, that's right. I didn't think about that. Tell me one thing. Where did you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. <laughs> you sure that blacksmith's going to be just here, Shindig? Sure he's here. Everybody's here tonight. I'm stealing all the phrases from this movie. I didn't know you was back in town. You can't read the sign, Tannen. I presume you can read this. You recognize that guy? That's the principal. Wait. Oh! <laughs> I, was, I was literally about to say because of the gun. Yes! Look at his hair. The only party I'll be smiling at is the one that sees you at the end of a rope. <laughs> He's great at all timelines. Remember that word. Discipline. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> He's always getting the no good doers. Mr. Eastwood, nice to see you. I see you got yourself some respectable clothes. <laughs> it's like the 
way he talks. Hey, Frisbee, far out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the meaning of that? It was right in front of him. Oh, he's a strange guy. There he is, Cooper. Oh my gosh, these guys. I fired this muzzle deep enough in his back, and nobody will hear the shot. Of course. Oh no. It's one of those, uh, it's one of the hidden guns. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, I told you to watch the back. Shoot. Ain't you gonna introduce me to the lady? I'd like a dance. I wouldn't give you that pleasure. You'll just have to go ahead and shoot. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you, Biff? I believe you've underestimated me, mister. Oh. 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 Damn you, Tannen. I damn you. Oh no. I damn you! Oh, Frisbee! Oh, nice! You. Hey, lighten up, jerk! <laughs> What's that mean? What you mean? Look, just leave my friends alone. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yell! Oh, Marty, come on, man. He keeps doing it. Nobody calls me yellow. Let's finish it right now. Don't have you for that. Marshall's got our guns. Like I said, we'll finish this tomorrow. <laughs> We doing anything Monday? Schedule's clear, Marshall. <laughs> I'll be back this way on Monday. When? High noon? Noon. I do my killing before breakfast. Seven o'clock. Oh, okay. Eight o'clock. I do my killing after breakfast. <laughs> you ain't here. I'll hunt you and shoot you down like a duck. What do you gotta shoot him down like a dog? Dang it! I always mix those two up. Marty, what are you doing? Say you're gonna be tanned. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna be gone, right? But what if the train's late? Yeah, it's a little. It's, this is dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to buy you a drink. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't want a drink. Uh oh. I'd like for you to have this brand new Colt Peacemaker and gun belt free of charge. What? I mean, take that, dude. Yeah. I want everybody to know that the gun that shot Buford Tanned was a Colt. Peacemaker! Of course, uh, you understand that if you lose, I'm taking it back. Because I don't want him to know you lost with the cold yeah. peacemaker. You let him roll you. Roll you into playing his game, hmm. his way. Boy, True. his world. Yeah, because we never really satisfied. Like, we never dealt with that. I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. Oh, he is. I think about it all the time. Well, except when someone calls you chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Devices that create giant explosions. Explosions so powerful that they just... They Break the pull of the Earth's gravity and send the projectile through outer space. This lady is genius. You're quoting Jules Verne. You've read Jules Verne. <laughs> the first time I read that when I was a little boy. You couldn't have read that when you were a little boy. It was only first published ten years ago. <laughs> He's the new author, bro. I never met a woman who liked Jules Verne before. I never ever met a man like you before. Oh, Shoot, snap. man. Shooting star and everything. I kind of want him to stay. But what's that going to do? I don't think it should do much, right? Because we've already been to a future where... Gosh, I still got the whole thing going. You talking to me? <laughs> well, I'm the only one here. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Make my day. See, I think what he's doing is more dangerous than uh, what Doc's doing. That's true. If he accidentally... Every <laughs> Everybody loves Mr. Eastwood, both back then and now. Interest you in a new suit for tomorrow? Ah, uh, I'm fine, thanks. I mean, I might as well just take it. Like, <laughs> Oh no, Doc. Look at that, the tombstone. All right, let me see that phone back. Oh no, is that the one? It looks like it. Damn, it's vanished. Hey, that's great, Doc. Oh. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. It's gonna be someone else. Oh, look, pal, I don't wanna buy a suit. <laughs> no, this is for your coffin. My coffin? And I run the, uh, the suit and coffin shop, so. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. <laughs> You can't go losing your judgment every time someone calls you a name. That's exactly yeah. what causes you to get into that accident in the future. What? What about my future? Oh, because remember, we never talked about that. Wait, but what do you mean? It was mentioned remember in before. the future, he got in an accident? Oh, car heard accident? about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like. I've made a decision. Uh -huh. I'm not going with you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm staying here. He's going to stay. You know, it could still be you that gets shot tomorrow. This yeah, tombstone yeah. I don't still know. be in your future. I, I think that it's because he's going to stay. Can be changed, you know that. That's true. It might be because that's of true, that, that's true. right? I have to live my life according to what I believe is right. I mean, that is true. What's the right thing to do up here? <laughs> You're right, Marty. That's so cool. They outfitted it with railroad wheels. I don't know. Maybe we can just take Clara with us. <laughs> Future? 
I mean, she was supposed to die. We shall proceed as planned, and as soon as we return to 1985, we'll destroy this infernal machine. Traveling through time has become much too painful. That sucks. I feel like especially now that he's having to leave Clara, right? Yeah. It's like, that's really rough. Clara, I want you to know that I care about you deeply, but I realize that I don't belong here, and I have to go back where I came from. I feel like you gotta explain a little bit better. Yeah, but I don't know if that'll work, like... If you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. I feel like that won't affect yeah. that much, maybe... I'm from the future. <laughs> do understand. Yeah. All you had to say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. But that's not Jeez. the truth. Yeah, but you can't just say something like that to somebody in 1885. Well, you had to show them something, right? Like a car or something like that. What can I get you? The usual? No, I need something a lot stronger than that tonight. Great. Whiskey, Chester. Damn it, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? You can leave the box. Oh, poor guy. Clara was one in a million, one in a Googleplex. The woman <laughs> of my dreams, and I lost her for all time. That's rough. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh, man, did I sleep? Oh, what time? The things that you have been through, Marty, in the last two weeks are enough to make you sleep the rest of your life. What time is it? Mm, late. Yeah. We have motorized carriages called automobiles. Oh, really? Does anybody walk or run anymore? Uh, of course we run. For fun. <laughs> yeah. Or exercise. How much does he have? None. That's the first one. <laughs> There's nothing left for me here. All right, that's why you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Come on. Let's get going. To the future. Amen. Amen. Damn it, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How is he that much of a lightweight? Oh, man just straight up died. How many do you have? Just one. What? One? Come on, Doc. <laughs> Give me some coffee. Black. Joey, coffee! Oh. Oh, no. It'll just end up terribly. You cannot get into this. Yes. The standoff because even if he kills Tannen, that will yeah, screw up everything. Yeah, yeah. Joey, let's make some wake up juice. Oh, oh. That. Oh, they got geez, the secret sauce. Tabasco. Oh, ew. Go ahead and pour it on down his gun. That's so much. That's so disgusting. That's kind of dangerous. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the trade? Because yeah, she's leaving town. Yeah. It's already here. Let's go, Doc. Let's wake up now, buddy. Come Ooh. on. Oh. No. You're five minutes early, bro. Come on. Let's settle this once and for all, Rod. All right, you got the gumps. Uh. Ooh. Oh, no. Listen, I'm not really feeling up to this today. Oh, no, you can't do that. So I'm going to have to forfeit. No, you can't do that either. What's that mean? <laughs> it means that you win without a fight. But that's you. You can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> What? I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Oh. If you don't go out there. What? You're a coward. Uh. Seven. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Whoa, that was a cool shot. Ten. I mean, I don't know what to do. You heard me wrong, you gutless yellow pie slinger. He's an asshole. Doc, Doc, you okay? <laughs> I think so. Whoa. <laughs> what a hangover. Go. Oh, of course. Jeez. Oh, no. Guys. That poor fella last night had the worst taste of broken heart I have ever seen. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shoot. Listen up, Eastwood. Oh, come on. But if you're just too damn yellow, I guess you'll just have to be a blacksmith friend. Forget about me. No. No, but then all of That's this is literally the whole reason you came back here, dude. What did you say her name was? Clara? Sarah? Clara? Clara. I'm Clara. Him. Train. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you could do that. Time's up, run. Here to meet your maker, Right here, Tannen. Oh, dang. I love the music. Draw. No. <laughs> what? I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong, dude. Oh. Does he have that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
Nah, he's good. Uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Who are you? Who are you bowing to? Oh yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yep. You idiot. Smack him. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> no matter what. Oh time. yeah. You for cannon? You're under arrest on the Pine City stage. You got anything to say? Ow. <laughs> I hate my noir. It's gone. Yes. yes. Go guys. Of course, it wouldn't be Back to the Future if we weren't cutting it incredibly close. I'm worried about that, uh, the train stop thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll trade it for a new hat. Okay, you're great, but you better trade that for more than just a hat. <laughs> oh no! You just missed him. You should have stayed. Yeah, is she gonna figure it out? She'll be like, oh, this is what they're planning on doing. How are we gonna get to the DeLorean? I think it's already set up. I know, but how are we gonna get into it? Wouldn't be a Western without running on top of the train. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big jump. Whew. Dang. You guys are actually fearless. Are we gonna take over the train? Yep. Ready? Is this a yes. Okay, 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 good. And they gotta detach the cars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. They're like the strangest train robbery ever. Alright. Time to go. Go! Yeah, she's gonna catch up. Maybe. Just to see him, like, disappear. That's true. <laughs> That's a really cool shot. Their ability to time everything up is really yeah. good. Okay. Whoa, dude. What happens after it hits 2000? A whole boiler explodes. Oh. oh, great, dude. Shoot. Wait, don't get on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now she's stuck. Okay, but now we have to take her with us. Um, guys. I'm hearing things. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! Oh, she has no. to get into like, dude, the car. Look at that! You know how hard that is, bro, in that dress, man. Whoa. Shoot! Oh, no. She's right there, dude. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Oh my gosh! That is scary. Oh my gosh! No, you have but to. She's gonna. She's gonna die! She's in the cab! I'm going back for her! No. Oh, no. You have to take her back with us! Keep calling out to speed! Yeah, hurry! Climb out here to me! Hurry! Come you on, have Clara, to. You, have you to. literally have to. Come on. You're going to die. And then the canyon's gonna be named after you again. I was thinking about that. Like, imagine if that was the case. <laughs> I like, mean? It wasn't the first time that she fell. It was I when mean? they did it. It's possible. I love that that shot, they're clearly really filming them speeding on the train. Because you can see the ground moving. I mean, I would be too. Oh, no, she's gonna fall. It's gonna blow, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can we use the hoverboard? Oh my gosh, dude! Oh no, it can't lose pressure! The Come hoverboard. on! Look at the hoverboard. Be careful, don't lose it! <laughs> yeah, the- ah! Yeah, and what about the train stop? Oh shoot! Dude, we're so go, screwed. Go, go, go! Let's go, Doc! Kill me now! Grab her! Okay. Hurry! Oh yeah. Guys, we don't have time for that. 
Show already. What the heck? Don't. <laughs> Ooh, oh. that was clean. Dude. Whoa. That looks so good. They actually threw a train off the thing. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> He's just driving down the train tracks. <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna get it off the track? Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Well, there's your DeLorean destroyed. Hopefully all those people on the train are okay. Well, Doc. <laughs> it's destroyed. Want. Yeah, he he can't do anything now. There's gonna remember, definitely be some questions. Hey Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? <laughs> uh, yes. I really like that hat, Marty. Thanks, Biff. <laughs> Jennifer's just been laying here. <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine waking up to this? <gasps> Marty? What happened to you? <laughs> Marty! I had the worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. We are going to the lake. We are not talking to anyone. The big tail. I've been hanging the <laughs> That's the guy that literally fires him in the second movie. Let's <laughs> see what she can do. No thanks. Hey. What's the matter? Chicken? Marty, don't. Grab all the sound. Oh. No, dude. <laughs> 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 he told you to grab hold. You think I'm stupid enough to race that asshole? <laughs> Shoot. He would have. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <You> raced. <laughs> she totally knows. Totally. I mean, come on. You can't date this girl <laughs> and not tell her about all this stuff that happened to you, bro. Doc's never coming back. I don't know, you don't know what the future may hold. <gasps> hey, that's cool. That's the picture. I'm sure gonna miss him, Jen. Uh-oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> you know, the different version of the DeLorean. <laughs> Time Lord Doc Ooh. Brown. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that is so cool. I got this note back from the future and now it's a race. Of course it's a race. But what does that mean? <laughs> She's so confused. No yeah, future it, it, hasn't that... been written yet. No nice. one has. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, we had to. I don't know how that runs on Steam. <laughs> my man kind of upgraded. What do you think? That was good, right? I liked it. Yeah, it was a it was a good way to end it. I think. Yeah, I actually, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I like this one um, better than the second one. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why? Um, I just think that it felt a little more, um, a little simpler. Yeah, two is really all over the place. Well, yeah, and because it's not like that type of movie or series, like it's not. When it comes to the time stuff, they're not really trying to delve into the mechanics no, and of course things not. like that, of right? Yeah. And so I feel like um, having it be a little simpler plays well into its kind of like, you know, its other characteristics. I agree. I agree. Um, and then, yeah, and just seeing the, uh, I like the, the um, kind of like, the more the focus, instead of on the time travel itself, but on the characters more. It's, yeah, yeah, it was cool. yeah, yeah. I, I think it's cool how um, the trilogy creates this kind of... It's hard to explain, but the way they do the callbacks and the time parallels and the different generations, the way they write it, it's almost like 
it's not even a sequel. It's all part of like a bigger painting. I can't really just, you know what I mean? And I really enjoy that. Like, I feel yeah. like if it was done the wrong way. It would be kind of cheesy, but because they do it right, it all, it just kind of feels like, oh, it, it, it makes this masterpiece. Cause it's like, oh, this thing echoes throughout here. You see this? I don't know. I think that's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. like the different parallels and stuff like that throughout all the movies. No. Yeah. And then, um, just the, also like aesthetically, I think this is, uh, it, it was really cool. Westerns, the Westerns, saying, yeah, Western cool. the yeah. style of it. And yeah. then also, but adding in, um, like Doc's kind of like futuristic knowledge, kind yeah. of like with the, yeah, um, yeah. like his stuff, his gadgets and things. I thought that, that was really, it was really cool um, yeah. to see. Um, and then, you know, I like seeing Doc. You know, find someone because, you know, he is always focused on his science. Of course. His sort of experiments and um, things like that. That was his sort of like driving um, motivation and his like that was his priorities. You know, yeah. he was always doing that. And so to see him kind of like almost step a little bit outside of that and tackle another part of life was you know refreshing to see well it was almost it it almost was like he was able to find balance a little bit where it's like he was a little bit of like that likable but still mad scientist in the first movie yeah i don't know whether they intended it or not but the fact that now he's kind of come full circle where it's like oh he does have kids and he has a family and he's talking about how like the future is not set but then he's also able to use the time travel but responsibly like i don't know just that idea of kind of seeing his character come full circle and and is is really cool, I think. Yeah, it was it was definitely um, a cool side uh, to see in this movie. And I think it's the right move to focus on Doc this third movie. And really, yeah. I feel like they really focus on his character more than anything in this movie. And I really like that. It's the it's a perfect way to end it. Yeah, no, for sure. And I like that he um, stayed behind because I thought for sure like that he, he would go. just leave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was interesting to see him. Um, Learning how to be, like, more than a scientist. Yeah, like, a little more, like, instead of doing the logical thing. Yeah. Maybe follow your heart a little more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Whereas Marty funny. had to do a little bit of the opposite. No, for sure, yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that they they wove in kind of the arcs from last movie as well. Because apparently, uh, whatever he was saying in the comments of the first movie is that the whole ending was a total joke. Like, they didn't... And that's why they were saying if we had planned it, we wouldn't have put um, his girlfriend in the car because we we didn't that didn't like work with their dynamic, which is why they kind of like have to shimmy a little bit yeah, and get yeah, her yeah. out of the story, let's say, in the second movie. Uh, but I think okay, that's I cool it. how you can see once they have an idea that they're going to tell more than one, they really did a, a cool job yeah, of they weaving decided, the story yeah. throughout. And there's literally inter-movie character arcs. Yeah. And I think that's super, even like the commercial at the end of it, that's exactly how it was in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's cool. No, that is, that is definitely cool. I like seeing, um, you know, I, I like seeing that like they didn't actually completely plan it, you know, entirely. Yeah, and yeah. it was like a joke, which, you know, it, it definitely felt that way. It was like, oh, wait, now you're back again. You know, it's like, I have to, but like, you know, once they jumped into the second movie, it's like, okay, now we... We're going to yeah, do that. And, and see seeing that, that attention and yeah, storytelling cool is that. really well done. And that they don't just, you know, like say, like, no, we had it all planned out. Yeah, it's of like, course. Yeah. Because <laughs> let's be real. Not everybody doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. No, yeah. that's cool. It just makes it yeah. more likable. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, so we'll see. I mean, this is one of the most classic, classic movies of all time that we hadn't ever watched. These, these yeah. three um, classic 80s movies. So, like I said, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. As always, full length reactions up on their Patreon. Next week's reaction, whichever other classic 80s movie you guys vote for, this movie here. That's also going to be up on our Patreon for you guys to go ahead and check out. And yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. We would love to have you. And if you do, we'll see you all in the next video.